Well, hello, Doomers, and welcome to Hardfest 2, map 27. And this one is very wild. Got a pretty good map this time, I gotta say. I really enjoyed playing this one. And this is post-commentary, because uh, there's no way I was doing live commentary on this map. There's just too much going on. But anyway, so first off, there's a super shotgun secret right away. Um, I just kind of do it first just to get it out, even though we're giving the shock, super shotgun immediately. Now, in this map, uh, there's a secret area where you get the BFG and you have to press that yellow switch, but uh, two other times, there's three areas. So the second one's right here, it's way easier to miss. And third one is in this water here. And I like to do the uh, secret f uh, area right away because um, there's parkour here. And parkour isn't bad, but it's really easy to mess up. So just like getting it out the way. And with that yellow key, you can get the BFG in this map, which is the only way to get it. But you need to do either the red or blue, you need to have either the red or blue skull key uh, in order to get it. So that's what we're going to do next. Anyways though, I like to stick to this right corner, let the squid billies come close to you. And makes light work of them. And then we could uh, run back. And yeah, I believe this is instant death if you die. Or fall down there, I mean. Uh, also, there's a bunch of cacos here. They really are annoying in the next area, so just try to kill as much as you can. Or at least damage them. Because this is the easiest spot to kill them from. It might even be worth uh, grabbing more rocket ammo. To kill more of them. But anyways, I'm gonna do this fight over here, which is the blue skull key fight first. Because I find it is the easiest fight. Uh, compared to the red skull key, which is very hard. Red skull key is very easy to mess up. So once you press this, gonna be two arch files spawning. I like to try to kill the one on the left first. I don't believe I got the kill. Oh no, I did. But took a lot of damage for it. It's also a plasma rifle down here. And there's three masterminds of the outside area, which makes it really hard to camp at. Because, uh, yeah, they're just gonna be shooting you. So I like to stay here, do like a, a U shape strafe. And try to kill both arch files. Now, you don't, you're not uh, down here for long. You only get two radiation suits, three if you jump in with one. So you kind of are on a strict time. But at a point you'll be able to use the middle elevator. And you pretty much just want to grab the blue skull key as quick as possible. In this demo I was able to get it really quick. But a lot of times you'll get uh, stuck by stuff on the ground or something. You'll see. But in the meantime you just want to damage your revs as much as possible. And the elevator's going up, that means we can use it now. I like to wait for the second cycle because the first cycle, it goes up really slow. And the revs can still hurt you a lot. And I'd rather just shoot revs down here in the meantime anyways. So I wait the first cycle out. And in order to bring it down, you gotta press this switch over here. And the radiation suit was running out, but I was about to leave. Now, there's going to be a cyber that spawns here, and luckily I was able to get here. A lot of times, I, or in every other one of my attempts, I wasn't able to get that blue skull key as quick as I did there. But now we can get to the real secret fight, which has the BFG, and this is a really fun fight. Now, it's also very deadly. So first phase, uh, just a bunch of imps and some barons and hell knights spawning in. Nothing too deadly. But here is where it gets tough. You got a bunch of pain elementals, chain gunners, revenants. All around the place. And we're gonna have cyber Jr. spawn in the middle. Or get lowered in. I 
like to try to do damage to the Cyber Juniors. It's not needed though. But now this is where it really gets tough. So there's all these revs and pain elementals which block your way. But the real tough part is the squid billies. Uh, they're gonna start spawning again soon, but when they do, uh, you cannot get stuck on enemies or else you'll just pretty much get shot to death. There's gonna be some here and some in the back. So you wanna be constantly moving in this area and you do not wanna retrace your steps. Unless you have to, like, like there. You're gonna have to, like, turn around eventually, but... You can still try to dodge as good as you can. And there's gonna be a few red cybers. It's good to focus on them. And once you get to this point, you're pretty safe. And there's a lot of cells in this area, but uh, I like to keep them for the other fights. So I don't try to just spam all of them. Like, uh, you'll see me use rockets a little bit. That switch over there, you can leave, but I decided to clear the area. That dude is just out of reach. Now, you'll see me come back here a few times throughout the demo, just to grab some stuff. And, at this point, uh... There... Uh, actually, I don't remember what I do. Oh yeah, there's some squid billies here I ended up killing. Or, I guess not right away, so... In this demo, I tried something different. There is an invuln secret in this area where you don't really need it, and I couldn't find like a good use for it. I guess I, I do kill squid billies first, but uh, so I tried doing something where I would use it for this fight, which is the red skull key fight. It did not work out at all. By the time I got back to it, the f fight like I I was just able to start. But yeah, I like to use the BFG there, just to kill those initial arch files. Um, yeah. So we're just getting some more, uh, more stuff. So the last secret we're missing is the one in the blue skull key area. And I do believe I grabbed it right now. And while I was down here, I just cleared up this this area. Now usually there's not much left, surprisingly. I just missed the elevator again. Which was quite unfortunate. And here's the cyber in this area. So, this BFG to him. And there's a switch right here. Grab the secret.
and you'll get a good amount of cells and uh, the invuln. Now in this demo, I used the invuln uh, pretty bad, like I really didn't get any use out of it. If I would redo this demo, I would use the invuln for the uh, the cleanup for the Red Skull key fight. Uh, I would probably save more time doing that because this was pretty much useless. This invuln is really hard to use because uh, all the fights are pretty like not like instantaneous. Like, there's like phases to them, so I had a tough time finding it. But right when I start this fight, I kill these arch files. Again, didn't really need the invuln. And uh, I try to kill the arch files in these corridors just so I can stay here more safe. I don't really have a good plan for this fight. I just kind of wing it, hope I don't die. Uh, because this next part is where it gets tough. But I did try to shoot these pain elementals as much as I could because there's a lot of them and they spawn a lot of lost souls if you don't kill them. And these cybers had all these arch files in fighting which was really good. made this fight way easier for me this time. And I just had enough room to get out of there. I believe this is the hardest fight of the map. Really easy to get cornered. A lot of arch files, a lot of cybers, a lot of pain elementals. And now I can leave. Just had to wait a bit. So yeah, if I redid this demo, I'd use the invuln right now to, for the cleanup. But it's not a big deal. And going back for some more cells. And a Megasphere. Now I tried not to uh, waste health because this Megasphere I wanted to use for the final fight. Since I did die in the final fight, but after I practiced it a bit more, I, I got it down. But also this demo ended up being a lot quicker than the one I died in the final fight, so pretty happy about that. And I had a notepad on the left side of or right, my right monitor show me how many kills I need before going in the final fight because the final fight uh, you're not able to come back to the beginning as I'm aware. So I needed 2,362 kills. And once you do that fight, Red Skull Key will be right here. And the last three were just in the beginning, but with the shotgun secret. And 
now it is time for the final fights. Oh, well, first gotta restock. Uh, the more cells you save for this final fight, the easier it will be. Final fight only gives you 400 cells, I believe. Which is, uh, better than nothing, but... Uh, in order to be safe, I like to use a lot of my cells on the cybers. So, in order to get to the final fight, you just need the blue skull key and the red skull key. Yellow skull key is completely optional, but it gives you the BFG, so... Uh, don't know how optional that is. So, let's start. I go here, I try to kill these Cyber Juniors, there's four on each side. There's also a lot of squid billies uh, coming from the exit gate, and they are a problem. Also, I actually grabbed a Megasphere there, that, that really uh, messed me up. So I had way less health to work with because of that. But after you kill those Cyber Juniors, you want to keep these uh, squid billies in, pushed in. Because you're gonna have to deal with some enemies out here. It's gonna be a good amount of revenants and two arch files, which just come out now. And just want to get rid of these arch files. And at this point, just keep you straight in the room. Hopefully, no enemies uh, push up, so you can just walk right past them. Squid Billy almost got me killed. We're right there. And yeah, they just kept dodging me. Last enemy. So once you press the switch, you'll be out of here. And check it out. Uh, tree in the middle. And there it is. Black Cherry. Done in 17 minutes and 39 seconds. And this was a collab map by RD and Marybell. Really, really fun map. Uh, a lot of fun trying to figure out how I was going to route this. And ended up going to run in not that long of a time. So, demo be description, and thank you guys for watching.